Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about how to use JSON in Julia. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's more like an SML, more like SML, but it's quite easier to read, and it's really useful when you're working with APIs. So let's see how to use it. So to use it in Julia, we have to add this package, pkg.add JSON. So all of these should be in capital letters. So what are some of the things you can do with this package? First of all, you can give to pass a JSON string, right, into a Julia data structure so that we're able to work with it. So we go with using, and then let's say we have this, let me copy my data here. So we have this dictionary, right? We have this JSON data. We have this JSON data. Then we want to convert this JSON data or string into a format that is into a Julia data structure so that we can be able to manipulate it. So this is it. So one of the ways of doing it is to pass it. So we go with let me copy this. Okay. So we're going to call it Julia. Right. They are converting it from a from a string, JSON string or JSON object into a Julia dictionary. So it's going to be JSON capital J S O N and then pass. Right. Then into bracket we're going to put our values here. It's going to be inside this string so that you see it as a string then this format so it's going to convert this entire data this entire json string into a julia dictionary so if it's a if if, if it's an object it's going to convert it into a dictionary if it's an array it's going to convert it to a vector if it's a number it's going to divide it according to a type whether it is an integer or it's a float okay so it has done it perfectly for us so that's pass this json object or JSON object, JSON string into a dictionary, right? So perfectly. So the type of it is a dictionary. So in this format, we can manipulate like a dictionary. So how do you do that? For example, let's say you can do because it's a dictionary, you can do the normal way of selecting the name only, and it's going to print only the name for us, just because it's seen it as a dictionary. Perfect, right? So if you want to select Peter, you just go the same way as Julia, text, and do your dictionary, and then the name. And then we go with the normal indexing or slicing. So Julia starts from one. So we want to select Peter. So we go with two. We're going to print Peter for us. So that's one of the ways of doing it. And since it's a dictionary, you can also check for the keys. And then make it like Julia dict. And it's going to print the keys for us, which is the name, date of birth, and age. We can also check for the values. It's going to be Julia dict, right? then this format you can be able to get all the values of it okay so that is it so that's one of the ways of using the json package to convert or pass a string a json string to a julia dictionary okay there are several things you can also do so you can what about if you want to do the other way around? if you want to convert a dictionary into a json string it's also very possible so that is what we call serializing so you're trying to serialize oh uh, see how i spell it <laughs> Serialize, right? I'm going to convert it from a dictionary into a JSON object. So I have some dictionary here of of countries and their abbreviation, right? So this is our dictionary. So I'm going to convert this dictionary into a JSON object. So how do you do that? It's quite simple. You use JSON dot JSON. This JSON dot JSON is just like the dump function in Python, and then the Load function in Python is just like the pass function, right? Okay, so that is it. So just to help you remember, so you just put it inside this bracket, then it's a dictionary, right? So we are sending this entire dictionary into a JSON format. So let me put it as JD for dictionary for the yeah, JSON object. So it has converted the entire stuff into a JSON object. So if you check for the type of this. It's going to tell us that it is a string. Oh, I made a mistake. It's supposed to be small j. It's going to tell us that it's a string because it has converted this entire dictionary into a JSON string. So perfect. So these are some of the ways you can do. So there are several things you can do it. So sometimes this is not nice, so you want to make it more nice up. There's a simple way of doing it using JSON dot JSON dot print. Right. Then your dictionary or your data. So this takes three arguments. Let's take the standard out, right, which you can omit, 
and then it takes the data itself this JD so JD right and then the next one is going to take the indent so this indent are usually numbers the number of how you want to indent it so either by two or by one so let's leave it by two and it's going to print it for us but because okay you can't see it well so let's see how to see you're not going to see it very well but it's actually indented it so let's see how you to write our file our json that which you have converted from a dictionary to a json into a file right so to do that you just go with open then get the normal way and we go with uh, to json right then json something like this then we go with w to write it and then go do j right so write the j for this one and then we are writing this information that we had here this jd which is this string here this whole cell here right so you are putting it as the jd so it's going to write it onto a json format for us and then that is going to be perfectly done so if it's finished it at 108 that is so it's going to convert this thing right into a json format for us so that's perfectly converted it into a json format so if i check for my present working directory which is in jcl that's that's where it's going to be found so that is how to write it into a json format okay so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can put it inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit please don't forget to subscribe and stay blessed